Hello YouTube and welcome back to my Ableton tutorial series. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how to fade in and fade out using a audio clip and a MIDI clip. Okay let's get started. First of all you're going to want to have your sample loaded in. We're going to use an audio clip for this one. This is what it sounds like. Sorry not that one, this one. It's a bit fast, we'll just slow the temp tempo down to say 1 to 8. As you can see, it just plays back uh, at its default volume. What you want to do is highlight the clip, and then when you highlight it up here, uh, when you highlight, when you hand, when you've got the hand icon over the sample, you see these little boxes coming in the uh, left and right corner. If you want it to fade in, you just use the one on the left of the sample, and you drag it in as much as you wanted. And the more you drag it in, the more of a longer fade in it will have. So if you play it back now from the beginning, can you hear that? It's fading in. If you, want, if you want to fade out, you go to the right of the clip and you drag that in. We'll select that much and listen now, it'll fade out. We just play it back from here. It's now fading out. It's as simple as that with audio clips. If you want to do it also, when you drag it in a little bit, you see this, this little dot down here? That's the slope, you can left click and you can use the slope as wherever you desire. So you can control the fade in a little bit more. If you want to cross fade between two samples, you have the you have the samples adjacent to each other. We'll drag that back across so they're touching. And what you would do is you drag one of the boxes in the top left, say, you left click and you drag it across as much as you want. As you can see, it's now cross faded and you've got a slope here again, so you can slope it as much as you want. We'll have it there. So if we play it back now, from here you'll hear fade from what this is. Play from one sound to the next. Here we go. Can you hear that? If you wanted, if you wanted more of a subtle change, you'd make it a lot longer. So if we were to do it right to the beginning, it'd take a lot longer to um trans uh fade from one sound to the next. If we play that back, can you hear that? It's coming in already. Now, but if you wanted to use, do fade on a MIDI clip, the process is slightly different. You've got to use automation. So if we get rid of these two channels, I've got the same sound, but now in a MIDI clip, we'll just play it back so you can hear it as a MIDI clip. What you would then do is, if you've got a MIDI clip, make sure it's ready to go. Then what you do is you right click on where it says zero, that's the decibels, the volume, the loudness of the channel. It's on zero decibels at the moment, which means it's uh, at the right volume to play back maximum before it distorts. We right click, go to show auto, click on show automation. And as you can see, it's now created a thin red line. This red line is on this is on zero decibels because we, we uh, showed automation when it was on zero. So what we would do is we'll just zoom in a bit. And you want to stagger it, so you want to make like steps using your automation. So say we want to, we'll start on bar six. We we'll drag this down to say a little bit like that. You don't want to do it too drastic. You want to just do it in little increments, like a little, so it looks like steps going down. So you come, you keep going. You see, you go down a little by little, all the way to the edge, all the way to the end. Sorry. So it's staggered, so it looks like it, a stairs going downwards. Would do when when you, when you come to the edge of your clip, make sure the last little section is right down at zero. So if you play it back now from here, it'll play back full volume, and as it goes along, you'll see this zero moved down in increments according to the the relative volume of the actual um, automation. Here we go. So we play it back from here. Can you see the volume going down on the right there? As you can see. So we play back the sound completely now. When it gets to bar six, that's when it will start going down in volume. 
As you can see to the right where it used to say zero, it's now going down because it's been automated. That's how, that's how you'd fade out if you was using MIDI clip. Well, that's it for this video, YouTube. If you've liked the video at all, please give the video a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. So until next time, YouTube, stay lucky, be safe, virtual worlds, signing out.